Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, we're going to talk about Kim Kardashian plans um, to rebrand herself and having the same image as Sophie Ritchie and Meghan Markle. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we know that Sophia Ritchie took over the internet by storm. Her and her um, team, they did an amazing job of rebranding her image. And she used her entire wedding event to make that a successful move. Now, if you're not aware, Sophia Ritchie is Scott Disick X. She has now been married to the music exec um, Elliot Grange and everyone has been lauding Sophia Ritchie giving her numerous props compliments as to how her and her team were able to make a 360 improvement on her image now at the time I've heard discussions on TikTok about Kim Kardashian being so inspired by Sophia Ritchie, Ritchie's rebranding that Kim felt the need to rebrand herself as well. Now, it is said that Kim wants to rebrand her image to having the same age image as a Sophia Ritchie and Meghan Markle. Now, we're going to get into all of that because shortly after, you know, those little gossips on TikTok, Kim Kardashian signed to um, w WME um, Talent Agency. W WME has been merged with Endeavor. Ari Emanuel, the gentleman that insisted on companies cutting ties with Ye, He's the one that owns Endeavor. So now that Endeavor and WME has merged, Kim Kardashian is signed to Ari Emanuel. Meghan Markle is also signed to Ari Emanuel's talent agency. So initially when, when I heard about that, you know, I said, I can definitely see that what TikTok was saying is not a lie. So... I understand with Kim wanting to clean up her image at this age, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, many people may argue and say, you know what, Meghan Markle is known to be highly controversial as it relates to the royal family. But we're going to keep it real, because when it comes to Meghan Markle and the royal family, the reality is the royal family has always been in the media for disgrace long before Meghan Markle and even long after Meghan Markle the royal family will continue to be in the media for disgrace so honestly with or without Meghan the royal family mess would have been in the media and I honestly believe that you know family rivalry does not take away from Meghan's prestige and class and if we're really and truly being honest Meghan Markle and Sophia Ritchie has a certain level of prestige and class that Kim Kardashian does not have and I'm learning that that's the status that she's trying to get to so she's hoping that you know signing with WME Entertainment they can get her on that launching pad that she needs to clean up her image she wants to get into the show business she wants to get into acting and all of that and i do believe that that is highly ambitious of kim and absolutely nothing wrong with that but as it relates to her intentions of being looked looked at as a Meghan markle or sophia ritchie will kim kardashian get to that point my answer to that is no and the reason why i say no is because if you think about kim's history and we're not just talking about a sex tape because there's so many people out there who have a sex tape and they were able to move past that because what they did once the mistake was made they clean up their image and there was no looking back ever since 
As it relates to Kim Kardashian, she keeps looking back. And when I say keep looking back, Kim is still being a nudist even today. Once she is in a relationship, once the relationship is over and she's trying to make someone jealous and reminisce, she poses practically nude on Instagram to get their attention. Not just that, we find Kim acting cheap most times. She's just, you know, for example, the most recent LA Lakers game, she was just a hot mess on the ringside. It was as though she was single. She wanted the guys on the court to know that she was single and available. She didn't keep it classy. She didn't keep it cute. And she was there with Ari Emanuel's wife acting like two immature teenagers. So already you can tell that even though she wants to clean up her image, you know, her old ways are definitely preventing her from doing so. Not just that, if you think about or look into, you know, the number of times that we've heard Kim's name in the discussions of shady business deals, for example, now we have David Leibenson, who is going with Kim Kardashian ruined my life. There are so many, you know, reports about that event that took place back in 2014. But if you want to scratch that and say, you know what, I don't believe that man, even the article reports or evidence that he has brought forward, how can you dismiss what she has done to Ray J? Remember, Kim went ahead and tried to sell that sex tape to a media group. The media group recognized that she forged Ray J's signature and said, we like what we see, but we need to get this signature legitimize. She then went back to Ray J. They all struck a deal and Kim blamed Ray J for over a decade of, you know, having revenge porn against her. So she didn't care about Ray J's image nor his feelings. And when it got to the point of unbearableness, that's when Ray J exposed everything. And the media group, I believe, I don't remember the media group's name, my apologies, but I saw that interview. That gentleman said from his mouth, Kim Kardashian forged Ray J's signature and she had to ask it, he had to ask him to get a legitimate signature. So when you look at Kim's history of shady business deals, the only way Kim can have an image of a Meghan Markle or Sophia Ritchie is unless she does right by the people who she has screwed over and burnt badly. Also, if you look at numerous reports, you know, numerous interviews of Kim, she consistently lies and manipulates. And that has somewhat leave a bitter taste in a lot of people's mouth. So bitter that it is unforgettable. So while I understand that as people get older, they get wiser and they want to make bold changes. For Kim Kardashian, you know, gaining the status of a Sophia Ritchie or Meghan Markle, I honestly believe that while it's not impossible, it's not going to happen for Kim because I don't see Kim going back to her past doing all the people that she has done wrong justice. I don't see her settling with Mr. David Leibenson, I don't see her coming out publicly to admit her wrongdoings and wanting to move forward. As a matter of fact, I see her as moving with WME so as to, you know, try to change things a bit, try to ensure that her deals are more legitimate and also trying harder to get through the scenes of movies. I, I believe that's the direction that she's trying to go in. And um, I believe that this is why she has signed up with WME most recently. Not just that, I believe that she's using this company as a backup because I believe she's going to have North signed to them. And we know that, you know, Ye may have a disdain to Ari Emanuel. And if Ye does, I believe it is perfectly normal because this man came out and launched a single attack against Ye. So if Ye does, it's understandable. So I believe that Kim is signing with, 
you know, WME for numerous reasons, more than one. I believe that a major part of that reason is that when she's ready to exploit her daughter, WME will be there to take actions against Ye. But at the end of the day, we know that, you know, they can certainly try. But Ye is very smart and he's always two steps ahead, even when it seems as though his opponents are winning, they're actually losing. So I know that he will definitely take care of that. But to the essence of the discussion, the reality is Kim has done so much mess that no matter how hard she tries, it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of time for her to even come close to the comparison of a Sophia Ritchie or a Meghan Markle. All three beautiful, intelligent women with social classes are totally different. Kim is just not on these women level, not because she um, doesn't want to be, but because she chose not to be. When you make um, bad decisions for money, that's not something that you walk away from easily, especially when the entire world knows about it. The memory will always live on. And especially knowing that she doesn't take accountability for her action. Action, she tries to deflect and, and play the blame game. That's not sitting well with some people. And there are far too many people who are, you know, against her more than how they are for her. So cleaning up that image, um, it may help somewhat, but she will not gain the status of Miss Meghan Markle or Sophia Ritchie based on her history, in my opinion. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that Kim Kardashian can gain the same social status as a Meghan Markle? or a Sophia Ritchie. I want to hear from you guys. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all next time. Bye guys!